NFL and the latest with free agent receiver Odell Beckham Jr. OBJ was tweeting with our friend Marcus Spears about potential landing spots for the star when he said, give me five teams outside of his Cowboys. Marcus replying, Casey, Green Bay, Rams, Buffalo, and Baltimore. Odell said, we see eye to eye. But Monty Jones back here with us. Bo, great to have you. RC, I'm starting with you, though. What do you think? Which team? Obviously, you know OBJ, right? In the LSU connection, yeah. the whole thing. So let me give that context to everybody here. What do you think is the right landing spot for him? Buffalo. And here's why. When, when you come back from an ACL injury, normally you're not all the way together until you're out about a year. Mm -hmm. And so necessarily asking Odell Beckham Jr. to come back and be a number one in a place like Green Bay, that would be a ton of pressure. We would view him and look at him differently. Teams would game plan him differently. But what we do know, if he goes to Buffalo, they're going to game plan to stop number 14. The same way many teams last year in Los Angeles game plan to stop number 10. And that's when Odell, Jr., Odell Beckham Jr. got the proper matchups. That's when he got one-on-ones. And a guy like Matthew Stafford, who we know only wants to throw the ball to Cooper Cup, understood what Odell Beckham Jr. could do. The thing we learned about Josh Allen in the divisional playoff round last year, when Gabe Davis went for 200, he's going to throw it to the dude that's open. He's going to throw it to the dude with the best matchup. This is a team that's going to be winning. This is a team that's going to be in the hunt to win the Super Bowl. And they have other weapons offensively and a top-tier quarterback. That's the place to meet. All those things you said are correct. They're a team that's going to be in the hunt for the Super Bowl. They're going to be a team that's going to be in Buffalo, too. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a matter of what he wants at this point. Because yeah. Odell has a Super Bowl, right? He has won a championship before. If he wants to be like a passenger on another Super Bowl team, it's just kind of funny. All those places are miserable. Buffalo, Green Bay, right? Yeah. Are those places that he wants to play and he wants to live. If he wants to do it just to win, then I would say that Buffalo absolutely is a place that we look. If he wants to live like he wants to live, man, I stick around LA. And while Stafford is only throwing the Cooper Cup, it would help if the other dudes were a little bit more open. Yeah. Right? And I don't think that staff is doing that just because he only wants to throw to that one dude. Maybe things look better for the Rams. But if it's lifestyle, you go to L.A. If you want to win, Buffalo or maybe Green Bay, I think, are the places that you mm -hmm. I don't blame y'all for either selection, but I'm going to say Kansas City. And the reason I'm going to say Kansas City is this. When I think about Los Angeles, I think that Stafford has this addiction to Cooper Cup. I don't think he sees anybody else. We can talk about other dudes needing to get open more, but you hear so much about the relationship and the chemistry and how they work out together and all hey, of this other stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we all know what that's going to be. You're going you're gonna to target him three times more than you'll target anybody else, even though Odell Beckham Jr. will find a way to get his, okay? When you look at Buffalo, I get what you're saying, but Stephon Diggs is that dude. Gabe Davis is somebody that you can't sneeze at. He's really elevated his level of play and the familiarity with those two targets. I think would obviously Odell would help them, but I still think that's what Josh Allen would look to do. In Kansas City, here's the thing. Tyreek Hill is gone. You got Martin Valdez Scantlin. He's got a few receptions. It was supposed to be McCole Hardman. He's got eight receptions in four games. Okay, Juju Smith-Schuster, thank God he's not on TikTok as much as he used to be, okay, because we know he can play, he's not a scrub, but damn it, he got addicted to TikTok, and he's doing some decent things, but it's nothing that's really standing out. You got Travis Kelsey. When you lose a Tyreek Hill, you want somebody that can literally, you know what, he's a deep threat. And we know Odell, Odell Beckham Jr. brings that to the equation. The brother, to me, would have been the MVP of the Super Bowl had he not gotten hurt, because you could see it. You yeah. could see it with just yeah. two receptions. Yeah. You could see what he was on his way to doing. I think him with Patrick Mahomes, with Eric Bieniemy and Andy Reid calling plays, I think Kansas City the is other, the ideal place the, for him. The other piece we have to factor in is what type of contracts people are trying to give him. Yeah. Right? If, if, you're, if you're sitting there and he's talking about a, a one-year contract to finish out the season, see where he is, you go to the place where you feel like individually you get an opportunity to excel. I agree with you. If it's going to be a three-year deal, then it's about how I want to live. Right. right? You're making a different decision there. Maybe L.A. becomes the place. But if he's just thinking about how do I get the football and how do I play in critical football moments? Because the reason we're thinking so highly of him again is because of what we seen in the playoffs, right? What we got to see when he had an opportunity on the biggest stage. Jalen Ramsey came on the pivot and said, if O finishes that game, he's the MVP and not Cooper Cup. But it was because we got to see it at that level. And if he doesn't go to a team that puts him in that spotlight or puts him with those opportunities again on a one-year deal, I feel like it doesn't help him get to where he needs yeah. to get. But Stephen, this is why I'm going to push back on Kansas City. Okay. If you look for him to be a Tyreek Hill replacement, 
we're asking for a lot of a dude in year nine coming off, off of another injury, right? Because we've already seen him suffer a debilitating injury before. I know what he brought to the table. I don't have the best answer for what he brings. What I do feel like, though, is even if he's not the same deep threat, He's a dude that just always gets open because he's just so good, right? Mm -hmm. Like, technically, he's so precise in everything he does and running his routes. If I'm him, I'm looking for a place where you're not asking me to carry this. You're not asking me to be the person that pushes your pass. But he wouldn't be asked, asked to, to carry it in Kansas City? But I think this, if you're asking him to be the Tyreek Hill role, then well, you're asking him to but carry But again, you want an additional threat because what you're saying is Hardman, Valdez Scantlin, all right, yeah. Smith, Juju Smith-Schuster, I can't trust them to be that dude right. when it comes time. I'm not questioning their abilities, but the bottom line is we haven't seen them really be in that position come playoff time. Yeah. And Kansas City is about championships. Oh, They're oh, about to compete yeah. the championships. Oh, if I'm Kansas City, I know why I would try yeah. to do that. If I'm Odell, I'm looking for somewhere maybe just a little less pressure for me to get this okay. done. And the weather don't hurt. Yeah, that's the man, the man. The like, let me tell you, you yeah. like Bob Miller. That man want to win. <laughs> you, you, you signed up for going to Buffalo after you already rich, man. You, you really want to. Well, he got hundred mil. He got one hundred twenty million. He got one hundred twenty million. Mm. I mean, suddenly Western New York. <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> said, suddenly instead of Buffalo, you think about Niagara Falls. That is a beautiful scenic view. <laughs> Stephen A. I mean, I could do that. I will play I for the. the I will play for the Alaskan snowmobiles Ooh. for one hundred and twenty million. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, ain't tripping. I'm from Houston, man. That just sounds so cold. <laughs> that's all. No disrespect to Buffalo, just yeah. cold. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.